Wow, thank you very much, Resurrection. And thank you also to King Leonidas uh, for, for allowing me to be a part of this, uh, uh, you know, th this nice, you know, th this nice kind of combined effort here to, uh, to do a top five players, top five jerseys of those players segment. Uh, and, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's wonderful to have something here to, uh, you know, to go with the NBA 75th anniversary, of course, celebrating this season. And, um, I'll tell you, man, it, it's tough when you're trying to pick f your top five players all time in the history of the NBA. That's a difficult thing. Uh, and then also to figure out not only that, but to figure out what jerseys, what jersey is going to, you, you want to use to show as your favorite jersey of said players makes it even more tricky. But that's part of the challenge, right? So, of course, I'm going to be doing this this vid here. King of Leonidas did his. Rez did his. Slim's going to do his. I'm going to pass the ball to him. And then, of course, Nostalgia Boy is going to do his. So this is this is our, I guess, our, our starting five in our group here, right? The <laughs> We're going to show our five. Uh, so after I'm done this vid, I'm going to pass the ball off to Slim. He's going to do his, and he'll pass the ball off to to uh, Nostalgia Boy. Uh, and I'll, I will have the links to all of our videos, to the, the other four guys, of course, to their videos in the in the uh, description below. So make sure you check out their vids as well. We're all doing this. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, great job. And I, I guess, you know, Rez, I guess a little of the, the Bay Area kind of rubbed off on me when you passed the, me the... You passed it to me, right? Some dub nation for you here. A little 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 Bay Area love, okay? Uh so let's get into it. I'm gonna go from five to one. These are my top five all-time favorite players in the history of the NBA, and these are the jerseys that rep that I'm picking to represent those players from my personal collection. Uh we're gonna start at number five, then we're gonna go down to number one, obviously. So number five for my all-time pl players. Man, it was tough. It was tough. I tried to narrow it down a little bit, but I had to go with this guy because I respect his game. I, it's the only guy out of this list that I never watched play, but I saw all the highlights, all sorts of stuff, just an awesome career, an awesome story, and Pennsylvania's own, right? One of Pennsylvania royalty uh, from my home state, and I got to go with Pistol Pete Maravich as my top five that my my five number five player out of the top five um just an incredible player uh, just the, the way he passed the ball he was one of the he was one of the architects of doing that you saw guys do it after him like magic johnson and the shit and the showtime lakers and obviously uh the guy who probably represent him maybe the best out of the more current time of course white chocolate at the University of Florida, Jay Will, of course, Jason Williams, who who kind of had that kind of game too, that that passing mentality as well, the way he was able to magically pass the ball the behind the back, the no looks, all the different things. Well, Pistol Pete used to do that back in the day. Not only was Pistol Pete a great uh, distributor of the basketball, he was an incredible scorer of the basketball, one of the greatest of all time. When you take a look at his career from high school days to collegiate days at LSU and, of course, in the ABA where he started his professional career. And, then of course, when they merged in the NBA, he finished his career with the in the NBA. Just an incredible score, incredible talent at putting the basketball in the hoop, uh, but also a great facilitator as well with those no-look passes, those behind-the-back passes. I mean, you just have to do some, some YouTube vid research on Pistol Pete Maravich, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I have the full run <clears throat> collection of all the Pistol Pete jerseys that Mitchell Ness has done over the years. Um, and also, I also have his LSU jersey. So to narrow it down to one jersey uh, uh, out of my Pistol Pete collection uh, <clears throat> was kind of difficult. But then again, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting all choked up all of a sudden. But then again, this one was one of the first ones that came to mind because it is a rather rare jersey. And as, as we say in the community, it's, it's also one of those old gold jerseys, right, from Mitchell Ness back in the day. It's a USA run jersey. The cut of this thing is incredible. And the overall look of this jersey is really nice, too. And we're going to go with that 73-74 Atlanta Hawks, the ABA days. <clears throat> Pistol Pete Maravich, road jersey right there. <clears throat> Beautiful jersey. The trim of the jersey is just insane. Really, really nice. You got the side trim as well. The full Atlanta on the front, right, with the 44. And then you got the pistol in quotation marks. Of course, the ABA did that for the players with the nicknames for the Hawks. Of course, pistol one of them. And, of course, with the Jazz as well. Uh, number 44 on the back. 
And he kind of went between 44 and 7 over his career, but he wore 44 pretty dominantly throughout his career. And, of course, with the Atlanta days, he was number 44. Uh, and uh, just an awesome jersey, USA Run. Beautiful, beautiful cut on that jersey. There's the jock tags right there that you see, 73, 74. Kind of a hard one to get. You, you know, out of, the, out of the, the home and away set, you'll see the white version of this more so than the red version, than the away version. And I just love, I love the away. This is probably one of, the, like I said, out of all the pistol jerseys in my, in my collection, this is my favorite. Just because I love that trim and I love the overall look and that red is just striking on this jersey. It is red. It is a deep red right there for, of course, the Atlanta Hawks. Now, the Hawks did wear this some seasons ago as a throwback jersey, if you might remember, uh, when, you know, for, for you know, of course, uh, uh, the more modern Atlanta Hawks, but it was based off of this one right here, and that's Pistol Pete, one of the all-time greats, and my number five of my top five. Uh, number four, the only current guy on my list, and it's the guy I'm wearing right here, the chef, Steph Curry, uh, always been a big fan of Steph, uh, coming out of the University of Davidson uh, into the NBA. And I've been collecting his jerseys for, for a number of years now. Uh, more so his NBA jerseys, although I would love to get his Davidson jerseys there. Candy man. Just remember. So anyhow, <laughs> but my all-time favorite Steph Curry jerseys that he's worn of his career to this point are the throwback cable car jerseys. I've always loved these jerseys. Uh, that the Golden State Warriors have worn uh, e either back in the day in the Barry years, right, their championship year, and then, of course, more recently when you had, of course, guys like Jay Rich and that those group of Warriors wearing it when they originally wore this as a throwback, and then, of course, Steph Curry and the more modern-day Warriors when they wore it as a throwback. Now, the one I'm wearing right now is the Adidas version. It's a swingman version. As we know, the authentics can be very hard to find, but... This was the first time they wore this as a throwback during Steph's years with the Warriors. But they wore it again uh, in, in the gold, the home gold. But they also wore it for the first time ever as a throwback in the away blue last season. And, of course, the Nike version right here is Swingman. But, again, all thanks. Very difficult to get, but go by. So there's Curry 30 right there. Love the cable car. This is my, like I said, this is my favorite Warrior jersey of all time. So it was kind of easy. As many Steph Curry jerseys as I have in my collection, and I have a lot. These are my favorites, the cable car jerseys, the throwback jerseys. And I was so glad they wore these last season to have the home and away set. Just a beautiful look. And I kind of like the navy ones the best just because the cable car is just that the detail on it is just that much more better on the, on the navy than even it is on the gold. The gold one's the one you always think about, but this one, everything just pops just a little more with all the detail. You can kind of see that if I hold these two together. Just a beautiful, beautiful look. Both of them, you can't go wrong. The blue one, though. Mm. That, the details on those, very, very nice. And just everything about the jersey just always pops. So I got to go with these for my... All right, I had to go with a home away set, but it was for good reason. It's my favorite all-time Warrior jersey set. So I got to go here. For Steph, right? Everyone's favorite mouthpiece chewing three point specialist. <laughs> and I remember his dad back in the day, Dell, and of course his brother, Seth Curry, is a Sixer, my Sixers, right? So certainly the Curry family has done a very nice job in the NBA, but of course, Steph being the most decorated one, multiple time MVP, NBA champion, he's kind of done it all, and he will be the all time great three point shooter in NBA history. And uh, awesome, awesome career to this point, and he's still going. <laughs> right so anyhow so i got number five number four so we're going to go down to number three fittingly enough number three right because i am a sixers fan that is my favorite team i uh, love my sixers even though they've drive they they drive me nuts but i still love them it's it's just it's like a family you know it's a love hate thing right <laughs> But my all-time, all-time favorite sixer, of course, is the answer, Allen Iverson. I followed him throughout his whole career. Uh, awesome, awesome career that he had. Of course, Bubba Chuck. Um, and it all started back in the 96-97 season as a rookie. When he put a little move on the GOAT. <laughs> I know, because I was there <laughs> back in 96-97 season. And that's why, and I have a lot of AI jerseys in my collection but this is my favorite. It's the home rookie, the gold logo, of course. NBA 50th anniversary, of course, this year is celebrating number 75. But back then, the 50th Annie and AI, part of that great draft class of that season. And this jersey means the most to me out of my AI collection because I was at that game when he crossed over the coat, right? Now, I will admit, I was at, look, 
Sixer fan, but I also loved the Bulls back then. MJ was my first favorite athlete. The Bulls were, were very important to me <laughs> for many years, right? Um, so I was at that game uh, with my dad. We had nosebleed seats, but we were there. That, that I think at the time it was the Core State Center, now of course the Wells Fargo Center. And AI was a rookie, and he put that move on Jordan. He crossed him up, made that jumper, and the place went nuts. And uh, I, I said, you know what? This guy's got some chop. I'm going to follow him throughout his, his time with the Sixers. And, hey, you know what? The Sixers needed a star, a superstar, and, boy, they got one in Allen Iverson. And, of course, he had an incredible career with the Sixers, helped lead him to the finals in 01. Didn't win, but incredible ride, incredible career that he had as a Sixer. Of course, his number three retired as one of the retired numbers for the Sixers. I followed him throughout his whole career, as I said. But that moment when he crossed over Jordan was one of the – one of the tops. It was just, you know, a, a young guy showing some chop against an incredible player and making that shot. Yeah, that, that was pretty special right there. And AI will always be remembered in this town as being a great warrior for many years with our with our Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, so this jersey, actually, this is a style I kind of hope the Sixers wear as a throwback someday. I, it was very short-lived. They didn't wear these very long, but it was a nice look. And, of course, AI made it famous. Uh, you got the Greek lettering on the front for the font. NBA gold logo right there for the 50th. You got the trim, the red, white, and blue going right there. Iverson 3 on the back, of course. This is an authentic line, Mitchell and Ness. Jock tag right there, 96-97. Allen Iverson. Beautiful jersey. I do also have the, the, the road red of it. But of the two, this one just pops just a little more because I think the Sixers font on the front goes just that much harder on the front on on the front of the white jersey than it does on the front of the red jersey but everyone has their own opinions on it right ai number three for number three for me in my top five list of all-time great nba players for me right so we're going to move on from ai and now we're going to go to number two for my number two all-time favorite uh, my all-time number two, my all-time number two great in the history of the NBA. And I will say this as a caveat. These aren't NBA jerseys that I'm going to show. When I think of this player, and obviously everything that he meant to the game, everything that he continues to mean uh, to so many, it, it's just kind of humbling to know that this guy went to the high school that I went to. And I was only there for one year with him in 93 and 94 season. But to think that this guy was in my neighborhood – played at my, you know, the high school I went to uh, uh, and and did so many great things when he, of course, got drafted into the NBA. One of the first high school guys, um, there were some before him, but certainly one of the more heralded uh, uh, careers of anyone drafted out of high school. And, of course, you talk about Laura Marion High School and we talk about the great Mamba, of course, Kobe Bryant, number two, all time for me. And... I have to share these jerseys because I do have quite a few Kobe jerseys in the collection, but these are the most important to me because they represent, again, my area and where I went to high school. It was only for the one year with him, but still I was there with him when they wore this jersey. Uh, these are, as you saw uh, in a previous video I did some time ago with my buddy Big Slim, we, 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 we debuted these jerseys outside Bryant Gymnasium, outside of Lower Marion High School. Uh, and this is, of course, the rivalry sports where shout out to the Candyman, the home and away set done to specifications of how Laura Marin wore the jerseys back then. Beautiful, beautiful job. Let's get into it. Everything's pressed onto the front as it should be. Laura Marin 33. Of course, that's another number Kobe wore uh, for most of his years in high school. I do believe he wore 24 as well when he first got in there, but primarily he was number 33. There's a 33 on the back uh, pressed on. You got the side trim. If I remember correct, that about the number. Uh, of course, 33 retired by Laura Marion for great reasons. Uh, and then you have the jock tag, the rivalry sportswear jock tag right there. Again, thank you so much to Candyman. These jerseys meant a lot to me. And for him to be able to do them was, was a very special thing. I know Slim got them too. Um, and we were, you know, we were very happy with these. Uh, and then you got the home version. And there's the home version. 33. Laura Marion, of course, pressed on to the front. You got the 33 on the back pressed on. And that uh, that burgundy. Burgundy and white. 
uh, Rivalry Sportswear again, right there. Beautiful, beautiful jerseys. They just mean a lot. And again, I know they're not technically NBA jerseys, but it's a great NBA player. And I had to go with these for obvious reasons, as the jerseys I wanted to represent for Kobe out of my collection. And I had to show them both because it's a hey, it, it's it's a combo. I'm the combo wombo guy, right? We're usually jersey hat, but we got the combo wombo home way set right there for Laura Marion for Kobe. And last but not least, we are going to go with number one. My number one favorite all-time player in the history of the NBA. Shouldn't be much of a surprise. His heiress, of course, Michael Jordan. Uh, the GOAT, in my opinion. Uh, and for his jersey, of which I have many, this was my number one. Because it means a lot. It's a very historic Jordan jersey. It's his rookie jersey, of course, the Mitchell Ness representation. Great job they did with it. Uh, that scripted Road Chicago jersey from the 80-45 uh, season. The drop down 23, which they got historically right. Um, and then you got, of course, Jordan 23 on the back. Everything pressed on. There is nothing stitched on this jersey besides for the jock tag. And there you have it. 80-45, Michael Jordan. This particular Jordan jersey means a lot to me because, as I said, Michael Jordan was my first favorite athlete. And I, ha I, used to have, I, I used to have many posters of him on my wall, but one of the first posters that I ever got of him was him wearing this jersey, him in this jersey from the 80-45 season. And it was a big image of him. I've looked for the poster. I haven't been able to, to, to recoup it. Uh, it's a, it was a big image of him, and there were smaller images of him on the side. And I believe every single picture of him was him in this road red, 80-45, you know, from his rookie year, uh, doing various, you know, dunks or in the air or what have you. And so this jersey, when Mitchell Ness made it, it became something I had to have. And I don't usually spend full price on jerseys, retail on jerseys. I actually went to the store, to the flagship store years ago. I believe it was back in 2013. And I picked it up at retail because I just had to have it. It, it just meant so much to me. Uh, beautiful job. I, I think they did a, they just knocked this one out of the park. And it, again, it's a very, you know, when you think of Jordan, it's one of those historic Jordan jerseys because it's his rookie. And that road rookie, right, with the scripted Chicago is just awesome. I know the Bulls are wearing it this year, a, a different kind of version of it this year, but they're going to wear it as their, uh, their city edition, right? So this one had to be number one for me for the first for my number one number one for my number one and my my top five his airness again of course michael jordan uh chicago bulls beautiful jersey glad to have it in the collection and that's gonna do it man that that's it man that's my top five again tough to kind of pick at five but i i went there so i got jordan i got kobe i got iverson i got steph curry and I got Pistol Pete Maravich. Those are my top five. Honorable mention, though, I have to. It was very close. <laughs> I I almost got him in there, but I'm like, yeah, I got to get Pistol. I got to get Pistol in there. But but Damon, of course, Mighty Mouse himself. I mean, you know, I have to, right? Honorable mention. So there's my Stoudemire Raptor jerseys right there. This is an authentic Nike. I got my Mitchell Ness Swingman right there. The purple jersey, the road jersey. My favorite Stoudemire jersey of his whole career was was that purple road purple wrapped ra original raptor jersey with the dino on the front awesome style still love it still wish the raptors would wear this again in purple <laughs> that gold that they keep going with and black and whatever bring the purple back toronto come on anyhow there you go i have to give a little honorable mention to the man with the best nickname in the history of the nba and the greatest tattoo in the history of the nba mighty mouse of course i'm a little partial I'm a little partial, <laughs> right? But I had to show some love to, to Mighty Mouse there, and there you go. So that's going to be my top five. Ah, a little, hey, a little assist here to Damon, right? As a little, uh, a little honorable mention at the end, right? Coming off the bench. <laughs> but there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure, again, I will put the links below. Make sure you watch King of Leonidas, Resurrection, Big Slim, and... Nostalgia Boys top five as well. And speaking of, of course, I got to pass the ball. Well, I don't have a ball, but I'm going to pass the, the invisible ball here. It's a big slim. I'm going to do a pistol piece. Oh, a little bit behind the back. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. And y'all enjoy this series. And thanks again. And big shout again, of course, to King Leonidas 
Resurrection, Big Slim, Nostalgia Boy. I'll see you all around. Take care.